But for real though, the kid's about to do mad funny stand up. Give a round of applause for Hunter Larson. As you know, most of you are here because you just want to get the hell out of your house. True? Yeah? Yeah? It's true? Yeah? Well, I'm going to tell you a story. It goes back probably about three months ago. Now, I love my mom. I love her to death. She's my number one friend in the world, but we have our crazy moments together. And, you know, don't you have like one of those parents where you, it, it just passes that mark of insanity when you just kind of lose yourself, you know? You go a little crazy. So, I like to run. Who likes to run in here? People like to run? Yeah, being active, yeah, yeah. I love being out. I have to get out of the house so I can get away from my mom and you know find my san find my sanity. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> all right. It's Thousand Oaks. It's a beautiful day. Okay. I'm going for a run. Okay. It's uh, probably like a three-hour run. I just didn't bring my cell phone. You know what? I, just because you know I'm not gonna hear it. I'm really focused. You know. And. Uh, I'm going for a run, and next thing you know, it's like three hours goes by, and I hear a police car just about hauling ass, like right, you know, right by my neighborhood. And I'm like, huh, that's kind of weird. So I go and check it out, and next thing you know, um, the cop is right next to my door, and he's right by my house. I'm like, oh God, my life is like a reality show. <laughs> So then, uh, you know, uh, I go and uh, my mom, you know, she's coming out of the house saying, Why haven't you called me? You know, and then the cop's just chilling there eating a donut in his hand. And he's just chilling. He's just like, <laughs> I get these phone calls every day. And uh, basically, you know, I have like these neighbors, you know, they have these chickens. And, you know, my dogs are barking. They're going crazy. They don't know what's going on. You know, my neighbor's chickens are, you know, ch you know just going crazy all over the place. And, uh, you know, I, I go to the cop. He says, come over here. Come over here, son. I'm like, okay, what's, what's up, dude? He's like, listen, maybe, you know, when you go out and about and, you know, are carrying your cell phone around, why don't you consider putting it on rain instead of vibrate? <laughs> you know, because you don't hear vibrate. You know, my mom goes crazy. I mean, l let me take it, let me, let me make it, the story a little bit more clear. How many of you, you know, it's like a long, you know, Saturday night, you wake up, it's Sunday morning, okay, uh, you, you know, everything's going great, you know, you're hung over a little bit, but then next thing you know, you see about 20 voicemails, 15 text messages, all from the same person. And then the last picture is a pic of your mom looking like she's about to have a seizure. Yeah? 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 Yeah, I don't think any of you know where I'm coming from because that's why I'm here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I come from a crazy, crazy family. Lots of strong personality. And, you know, I'm here so I can be set free. Forrest knows what I'm talking about. Forrest knows exactly what I'm talking about. That's Forrest, ladies and gentlemen. That's a great person right there. You really want to get to know him. So is Luke. I call him Luke Skywalker on my phone because I still have yet to get his last name. But seriously, everyone, I think, you know, we're all here because we just really need to have some freedom, you know? And parents don't get that. Mamas don't get that. Dadas may get that, but mamas don't get that at all. Mamas want to control you, like my mom, you know? She's screaming, screaming. And for instance, I'm at the front desk at Tropicana Gardens, you know, to pay my rent. And I forget one of the girls at the reception is she's like, I literally put my mom on speaker. She's like screaming at me because she wanted to do like a two-way pastry or whatever. And 
I'm like saying, you talk to her. I can't talk to her. She's going crazy. Like just screaming on top of her lungs. And, you know, the girl at the reception, and she's just laughing. And she's just like, <laughs> your mom's crazy. And I'm like, yeah, try living with her. So, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, I'm here because, you know, the freedom. You know, we all need freedom. And, uh, yeah, I think everyone here should be blessed. Everyone here should really realize that, you know what? You're away from your home. There's no such thing as uh, being homesick. Okay, here, that's just, I mean, this is, I mean, I, <laughs> when I'm home, I feel like I'm about to cry, you know? When I'm here, you, you, you feel like, wow, this is heaven. I mean, I was at the beach and I was talking to Jesus, you know? Me and Forrest, we talk to Jesus all the time at the beach, you know? We get into these really, really, really deep conversations conversations. I met a lot of cool people here. A lot, a lot of cool people so far. And uh, it's great, you know? And uh, yeah, you know? Yeah. Have fun for the rest of the year at Tropicana Gardens, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Good night. That's Heather.